This is a video over sample space. Sample space. And all sample space is the total, total, or instead of taking total, just put all the possible, possible outcomes. Outcomes. So what's the, what's the sample space? I'm just going to have this represent sample space. What's the sample space of having one kid? One kid. Well, the sample space of having kid of one kid is either a boy, so you could have a boy if you have one kid, or a girl. That's the sample space of one kid. What about two kids? Two kids. The sample space of two kids, well, that's just, you could have a boy first and then a boy again, a boy first and then a girl, you could have a girl first, then a boy, then a girl, and a girl. So the sample space of that is these four. Now let's do the sample space of having three kids. And I just really want to point out, you can have a boy first, and then a boy, a boy first, then a girl, a girl first, then a boy, a girl first, then a girl. So that's the sample space. It's those four outcomes. Now let's go to three kids. Three kids. What's the sample space of having three, three kids? Well, you could have a boy first, then a boy, then a boy, so that's one outcome. You can have a boy first, then a girl, then a boy, a boy, girl, girl, a boy, boy, girl, and it would go on, it would go on to maybe just having a girl, a girl, and a girl. So the sample space is this one outcome, plus this one outcome, plus this outcome, plus this outcome, plus this outcome, plus that outcome, plus that outcome, plus that. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's these eight, to eight total possible outcomes. So the sample space size is eight. Eight. So this one was two, this one was four, and this one was eight. So if we wanted to have four kids, four kids, all we have to do is multiply multiply 8 by 2, or simply what we did here. We had we just had 2, here we had 2 times 2, and here we had 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 8. So 4 kids is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. Or simply, simply 2 to the number of times you want to have kids, or to the number of kids. So if we wanted to have a hundred, you could find the sample space size size by two to the n, and that's for kids. Now let's go to flipping a coin. Let's say you flip a coin one time. Flip one time. So what's the sample space of flipping a coin one time? Well, you can get heads, heads, or tails. What about if we flip it twice? Two flips. Flips. The sample space of that is just equal to heads. You can get heads on the first flip and then heads again. You can get heads on the first flip and then tails. You can get tails and heads and tails and tails. So that's the sample space for flipping coin two times. And it's the same idea if we were to flip it three times, it would be it would look something like this. It, the three sample space of flipping it three times would look like this, heads, head, heads, heads, or tails, 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 or tails, heads, tails, and it would just go on. So, let's go on to rolling a die. One, roll, one. So let's say you roll one die. What's the sample space of rolling a die once? Well, what are all the possible outcomes from rolling a die once? It could be one, you can get one, you can get two, or three, or four, or five, or six. So that's the sample space of rolling it one time. What about if you roll it, roll two times? The sample space of rolling it two times is equal to one. So you, the first time you roll it, you could get a one. If you roll it again, you could get one again. You could roll a one the first time and get two the second time. Or you could roll a one the first time and get three the third time. And go on like that. This actual size is 36. So the sample size is 36. Six. So, I mean, at the end you'd have 6, 6. So that is the sample size, size of rolling a die.
twice. And notice that is just 6 to the number of times you roll it. So 6 squared is just 6 times 6, and that's just 36. Now what about this? What's the sample space for all the possible all the possible license plates? If we assume that these are all letters, so this can be A, B, C, and that all these can only be digits, so 0, 1, 2, 3, so on. So what's the sample space of that? The sample space could be could be A, B, C, so you can have, actually, could be A, A, 1, 1, 1, A, 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 1, 1, 2, A, 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 1, 1, 3, and it just go on for about 17.5 million, million. And we can find that out by just multiplying all the possible outcomes for this one, which is 26, times all the possible outcomes for this one, which is 26, times all the possible outcomes for this, which is also 26, for, and all the possible outcomes of that, that, and that, that's just 10, 10, and 10. And if you multiplied all these, all these together, you'd get 17.5 million. So this sample space is huge. Now let's go on to picking one card out of a deck one card. What's the sample space of picking one card out of the deck? Well, that is just depending on what you're picking out. You could pick out the Ace of Hearts, Ace of Hearts, or the Ace of Diamonds, or the Ace of the Clubs, and so on. You could maybe pick out the Three of Hearts, or go on even more, the Jack of Hearts, or uh, assuming there's no Jokers, the King of Hearts, and I mean, the sample size is 52 if you're playing with a normal deck of cards. So the sample space size is 52. Now what happens if, what's the sample space if we picked two cards, two cards, and did not put them back in? So we picked one out, so let's say the first one we got, we picked one out, put it over here, and then picked another one. What's the sample size of that? Well, what's the total number of possible outcomes for the first one? Well, the first pick could be anything. It could be an ace, uh, the, the ace of hearts. And then it could also, the next pick could also be the, the ace of diamonds. And it would just go on forever. But it would be 52. The sample size would be 52 times 51 if we do not replace. Do not, or don't replace place. So that's just the total possible outcomes for the first pick, which is 52, times the total possible outcomes for the second pick, which is 51, and that is equal to, that's equal to 52 times 51, so 2,652. 2,652? 2,652 possible outcomes. So the sample space of this is relatively large if you pick two cards and don't replace them. And the same thing would be true if we did three cards. Three cards, the sample space, or sample space size, would be 52 times 51 times 50, and that's just this number times 50, whoops, times 50, so that's a relatively large sample space size. So remember, sample space is just is just all the possible outcomes.